Good afternoon, welcome to Talks with Tony. So glad to have you join us today or to tune in later to this. So for as we're get preparing for North Texas Giving Day coming up September the 14th, there are lots of things that we're gonna be doing in our agency. But really what we wanna share with you this year in the journey um, to North Texas Giving Day is a day in the life of. And it's really looking at a day in the life of domestic violence victims and not realizing some of the impact. People think about the brutality oftentimes of the abuse, but really so much of it's about the efforts and the ability to survive and then subsequently thrive after you've been victimized um, by your partner or your spouse or husband or whatever it may be. So we are gonna talk about you know the economic abuse, really thinking through oftentimes that victims will come to us and really share that they have um, been brutalized and really controlled and manipulated economically. And as a result of that, her credit may be damaged or suffering, which is certainly a barrier when she's going out to try to get housing for now for herself and her children. Also, losing a job. Um, we had a client just recently who came in. She had um, tried to leave her batterer. She was working at a, a company who was not supportive of the efforts and the trauma she was experiencing and her estranged partner continued to call and harass her in the workplace. As a result of it, she lost her job and was not able to then financially support she and her children. We eventually had to get help her to obtain a protective order as she acquired a new job. So it's really about the day, a day in the life of having to make the decision of, I can only buy a limited amount of groceries because now I can't get child support from my estranged partner and I'm trying to um, support three children on my own on a limited income and I need to make sure we have a place to live and so they're gonna have to come to us and get food out of our food pantry. So there are many, many struggles and trials that happen with victims who are moving to that place of being a survivor and then subsequently thriving. That's the journey that we wanna to share to, with you um, as we go into North Texas Giving Day. If you look at the bottom of this post, there's gonna be a link uh, at the bottom of the video that allows you to go and click about why I support, why I give, why do you give your time, your treasure, your talents to Denton County Friends of the Family? Because we wanna take that information, we believe it can be inspirational and motivational to not only clients who come in us for our support, but also other members of the community. People may not realize that it may be the slightest thing that they had that will bring them so much joy if they choose to share with someone who is currently um, experiencing a struggle and a trauma that has come to friends and family for support. So we want to use your inspiration and in why you choose to give of your time, talent, and treasure to friends and the family. We want to use that to motivate and inspire others and also to, to post as a support for victims who have been through our services. So we thank you for joining in with Talks with Tony. We look forward to getting all of your feedback on why I give, why I support. And we'll more than anything, look forward to seeing you at the upcoming events we have coming up. North Texas Giving Day, September 14th. Of course, you'll hear a lot more about it. And then we'll be preparing for our event at the end of the month. So thank you so much. I hope you all have a wonderfully safe and blessed weekend. And thank you for joining Talks with Tony and caring about what we care about, and that's making our community safe. Stop the violence.